FreeBSD 14.2 release came out on December the 3rd, 2024. Thought I'd, uh, instead of running through all the stuff that's new and, and what's been updated, yeah, there'll be loads of videos out there for that kind of thing. I thought I'd just install it, see if anything's different, if it's just as easy, and see how we get on with it. So I'm just waiting for the ISO to burn to a USB disk. Once I've done that, I'll get it booted up and we'll take a look. Okay. Right in the image, 100%. Refreshing and it's done. So let's close that. USB. Let's plug it in. And start it up. Let's, um, let's move that over here. Right, so <laughs> this mini PC that I've got, it's a Lenovo Think Center. What I've found with this thing is that whenever I try to boot from the USB, it goes into its diagnostics page and it drives me up the wall. If anyone knows how to stop that, please let me know. You'll see what I mean if it happens. There you go. Every time. And if I restart and do it again, it'll either go into it or it'll actually work this time. It's really, really frustrating. So do drop me a comment and let me know. There we go. See, second time's a charm. Very, very odd. So just the standard install. We get it up and running. And we are in the UK. Don't want the debug. We have everything else. Yeah, ZFS is going to complain about there being a pool there already. Pool name, just the UEFI, please. 16 gig. So I usually go half of that. I'm sure there are other ways of doing that, but it's just the way I've always done it. Proceed. And yes, please. Let it do that. It's not the fastest processor in the world in this PC. It's a Pentium, I think, which is why it quite often takes a while to do this. Like I said, not fast. That's ports extracted, working on a source, 9%, 52. Multiple FreeBSD EFI boot entries. Would you like to remove them all and add a new one? Yes, please. Just done that. Root password, network. Yep, DHCP, yes. Acquiring DHCP lease, which is set up as a static lease in my PF sense, a reservation. Okay, we're in Europe, sort of. United Kingdom. Yep, skip, skip. We'll have mouse just in case we decide we want to install a graphical interface. And that should do that. Well, that's new. I like that. It tells you what graphics you are using and should install it. So yeah, we'll do that. That's very good. It is, of course, downloading it from quarterly rather than latest, but we can sort that out once we're up and running. There was a discussion. Yeah, there was a discussion on Mastodon about the values of quarterly versus latest. I'm not going to get into it. Usually I use latest purely because it's the latest ports versions or the latest for FreeBSD anyway. Uh, would I like to add a user? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Oh, well, see what happens with that. Wouldn't be surprised if that's buggered it up slightly. Uh, yeah, 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 why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never actually done that before. ZFS encryption on the home drive, but we'll give it a go. Home drive, home directory. No, we won't lock out. Yes, enter an encryption key phrase for the ZFS data set. Z root home Gary. Yeah, see, I thought that would happen. Yes, let's do it again. That's fine. Invite into others, yes. I'm not going to get into the benefits of uh, SH versus CSH. Having used FreeBSD for a long time, I'm very used to CSH. That's 
pretty much the only reason I use it. Familiarity. Something like that. What? So let's try this again. Yes. Key phrase. Well, that's interesting. So let me get it booted up and we'll take a look at that. Here we go. Reboot him. Pull out that USB. It's out. Booting up. And there we go. Right, so let's log in as root. Yeah, so it has added Gary's entry there. Hmm. Okay, but it hasn't added me to the other groups. Let's have a quick look at ETC group. Operator is root and Gary. Video is Gary. Right, so it's done what I asked it to do. But it hasn't added. Yeah, interesting. It's very strange that it didn't want to do that. Hmm. Anyway, so let's check. Yep, release. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not installed. Let's just get that done. Okay, like right, so. Let's get my text editor a choice. So we now have a functioning FreeBSD system. It's FreeBSD 14.2 release. I am slightly weirded out that that's done that. So let's do an ad user. Login group, we'll put that in wheel as well. All right, see if it does the same thing. Home directory, yep. Yes, yes, no, no. Enter password. No. Yes. I see it's done it this time. I wonder why I didn't do it before. Okay, so if it's not working from the install, I'll have to do that again. And see if it works on a fresh install. Because it obviously went a bit doolally on the first one. See, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fresh install and see if it works from the installer. Because that's slightly at odds with what I want, but that's fine. Okay. So let's do a quick reboot. So I want to see if encryption on the home directory makes that much of a difference. It may not. It, it may be not what I think it is. We'll see. Okay. Back up and running. That's interesting. See, now I'm in there. Before there was stuff there. Now there isn't. So... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I I think it's not what I think it is. Let's have a quick read about it. Yeah. So it is a, a bit of a strange one, that. Interesting. Now, I bet that works if I do it as root, though. Wow. Interesting. Permission denied. That's very strange. Yeah, that's really strange, that one. Okay. Test. Gary. Let's remove them both. Yes. 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 Oh, come on. Okay. I don't know why I'm testing this. Uh, this is, at this point, seems a bit silly. Uh, leave it as SH. I don't know why I'm getting stuck on this. Oh, I don't think it's added that user anyway. No. Okay. Right, so that doesn't really matter anyway. I'll figure that out at some point, actually. Let's do one more. So all my stuff is there. Reboot and see. Because it looks like people on the forums are, are, are wondering about this as well, because I would imagine when you log in and your home directory is encrypted, it would decrypt it so you can actually see what's in there and then encrypt it when you log out. But I don't think that's what happens. And I suspect it doesn't do that by design. Right. 
I'm in my directory and there's nothing there. And that is kind of my point. It's just a permission denied. Is it mounted already? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to do a bit of research on this because it, it's, it doesn't do what I think it does, I don't think. Well, now that's interesting. Because I don't for one minute think that Root should be decrypting a home directory. So how is this supposed to work? Does anybody know? Please let me know because I'm quite interested in this. I need to do some more research, I think. Anyway, so the, got away from the point. We're on FreeBSD 14.2 release. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Yeah, let me know. I'd be quite interested to get that working. If that's exactly what it does. I See, I don't know. I need to, to read up about encrypted home directories. If anybody has any resources to that, please do drop a comment. I'd love to read up on that. Don't forget to like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.